Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the Long Dark Tales from the Far Territory, and I am in the maintenance shed on the Broken Railroad, and it's about time to head back if I can. I am a bit overloaded, but I need everything that I've got. All the stuff I have is extremely important, and I need to get it back. <laughs> it's just all there is to it. So I've got to figure out how to do that. So I may just have to risk it a little bit. But I need to get out through the exit here. And I'm hoping that I can get out and not run into some wolves. But we have some issues going on here. A storm. Dang on it. Never fails. Always a storm when you don't need it. Not sure what I got in here. Another gun cleaning kit. Let's see, I've got one that's used. Yeah, I might just actually switch this. Might as well have one that I can use. Yeah, it's cold. Even in here, I'm cold. Temperature's going down. Yeah, I may end up having to spend a little bit more time here than I expected. Uh, it's not exactly what I was hoping for, but I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we're doing good food-wise so far. We're curing our wolf pelt. We got food in the locker if we need it. Granted, it's crackers, but hey, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. Which I'm going to go ahead and eat some. Let's see what's in here. Oh, can opener. About all the food I have. I'm not doing real well on food. Got plenty of plenty of water. That was enough to get my food up. say what we do is we sleep. As long as we can sleep. I had a feeling we were going to wake up to a one of these. <laughs> 
Oh wow, this looks cool in here and how everything's all lit. Really cool. I see that we have to be careful of. We can get hurt on that. Yes, yeah, so the, I think it's the aurora this time, not the glimmer fog. Okay, is there anything in here? Since we can see, might be able to find some stuff we don't normally can normally can find. Let's see, but all those are empty. I'm just making sure that I have checked everything because I do need food. Actually, right now I need water. Yeah, we gotta be real careful of that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, it's playing music. If it's playing music, there has to be a transmission somewhere. You can't have music just willy-nilly in the air. It has to be... Alright. Hold on. Let me see something here. Let me get this thing out. Okay, I'm not picking up anything. This would be a good time to leave, guys. Let me go back. Carefully get back. Okay. We don't want to zap ourselves. I need to pick up my wolf pelt. All right. Well, we have to move on because we don't have any food. There's no food here. Unless we go out hunting, we're going to starve to death. So, the only problem is, is the wolves are going to be really temperamental right now. good thing is is that it really is bright the light is good luckily that's not all lit up if we can get out of here without alerting any of the wolves we can get on our merry way it's not cold and head on to the forlorn muskeg That is our next stop. Rather not go through there in the middle of a storm, but I can deal with the aurora. I oh, got lucky so far. Yeah, I'm not going to go running because I don't want to alert a wolf. They are just every stinking wear over here at the maintenance shed, so... Okay, I'm trying to remember how I got here. Yeah, I know I had to go through some kind of funky path. I 
actually, let's go ahead and continue marking ourselves here. Because we can survey. And I hadn't done that before. Green maple sapling. What's that for? Oh, I can use that to make arrows. Yeah, that's probably a good plan. <laughs> I think I have one arrow left. Ooh. I didn't see this guy before. Let's see, decent wool mittens. That's it. Crunchy stuff. Well, we can definitely use a little food because we have no food. And some food is better than no food. Yeah, we gotta have this out. This is this is bad juju. Oh, more mushrooms. Grab those. They're not very heavy, so it's not like it's gonna seriously weigh me down. They're good for what ails you. Ah, dang on it. How do I keep missing these guys? Well, they did you see how he looked? He looked weird. Could I get hurt? I don't think I got hurt that time though. Let's see here. I don't think I got hurt at all. Yep, I got a sprain risk, but I didn't, he just probably damaged my clothing. How did I miss him? Bastard. <laughs> I aimed right at his head. Well, that's a fur limb which could be used to make repairs to something we only ran into one wolf that's not too bad but boy he had not hesitate to attack me he had a crazy look in his eye. Yeah, this is where I'm going to have to cross, like over here or somewhere. I have to cross like a log or something. The good thing is, is I shouldn't have to deal with any wolves while doing that. Shouldn't. Not saying I won't. Yeah, the road back is treacherous. I definitely need to do some reading, without a doubt. I need to do some reading on my gun usage, because obviously I suck. And I don't. Not in real life. I'm actually very good with a gun. Oh, I don't want to break that up. I just want to grab a stick. Yeah, in real life, I'm a dead shot. And just like I am in... Oh, goody. Where are these bastards? Oh. Here it is. I knew I had to cross a log. I remember crossing that. The problem is, is they're down there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and mark the map again. Cattail plants.
Where is he? Jesus! What is the freaking deal with these guys? Okay, now I'm hurt again. God bless it. <sighs> Shoot. Let's see. Blood loss. Treatment. I need to use the bandage. Okay, that's better. Yeah, if you don't, you'll slowly ble bleed out. Oh, are you kidding me? I still have to use... Okay, well, I've got that. Let me go ahead and use some of this. I'm sure I need to use that. I don't think I have enough. Let me see here. Can I? I think I can make. Whoops. Make another bandage. Yes, I can. I think you make two. Let's see, I need pain medicine. Here it is. <sighs> okay, I'm good. Well, they are definitely vicious. Whew. Out of doubt, they are seriously vicious. Okay, I'm trying to remember how I got over here. Low visibility? What low visibility? Is this it? Ah! I found it. That would be it. Alright, we're back on the beaten path. Let's get our gun back out. Yeah, my biggest risk right now is sprains. <laughs> That's the second time I've shot at a, directly at the wolf and he just kept coming. What is wrong with... why is it considered low visibility? Maybe because it's dark? I don't know. All I do know is we are almost to the forlorn mess muskig, so things are going to get even a little more dangerous because then we have to deal with not only wolves, but timber wolves, I believe, and bears. So we're going to have to really be careful.
But this is the last leg before we get to an area where we can get lots of food, lots of water, and a decent shelter. Forlorn Muskig. Now there's supposed to be... Hold on. There's supposed to be a bunker here. Or not a bunker here, a transmitter here. Somewhere. Ah, we lost the signal. Well, let's put the gun back. This is not a great area. From what I've been told, this is a good place to die. We got us a bit of a fog moving in here, but it's not a glimmer fog, so we don't have any. Just kind of getting a look around. Now there was, I can't remember if in that one car I had left some food or not. What is this? Cedar firewood. Huh. Yeah, I want to grab it. I'm getting cold again. By the time I get up here to that car, I might need it. Let's get back up here. I want to stay. I think those are wolves over there. We need to seriously avoid them. really wonder where the transmitter is. I know it's in the Forlorn Muskig. That's all I know. And I really haven't explored any of this. I've pretty much just passed through like I am right now. But if I come through here, what I'm going to do is have all my gear and stuff back at my main base. And there they are. And I won't be so overloaded. Ah, oh, jeez. Is that more wolves? Or is that sticks? It sticks. Okay. That I can deal with. Well, we've also not got an aurora going on, so we don't have to worry about that. I also need to come over here in the daytime when I can see <laughs> and not in this whatever this is probably still won't let me do anything no nope. damn that's frustrating okay we need to go down here otherwise we're gonna walk off the edge and break a break a leg or something <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of a dismal area. It's like a big, cold, swampy area. Anytime I see something big like that, I'm always kind of worried that it's a bear. Okay, it's not moving, so I think it's just a stump. <laughs> I can deal with a stump. Stumps I can deal with. I cannot deal with bears. Bears are bad. Well, I'm going to check in here. I think this is where the 
It's either on this side or the other. I don't remember. One of them is open. I do know that much. It's not that one. Yeah, here it is. Let's see. Do I leave anything in here that I can use? Let's see. Scrap metal. Uh, another lantern, and it's full of fuel. Hmm. I wish I could just take the fuel out of it. There's a ragged hoodie and a worn cotton torque. Torque? Whatever. Other than that, I didn't leave anything, and I'm going to grab the metal. Dang on it. I need the metal. Oh shoot. The only problem is when I come... Okay, I'm going the right way. I'm always afraid I'm going to go the wrong way. <laughs> but no, I came from that direction, so I should be good. You can get turned around in this mess so easily, and when you can't map... Because that's how you figure out where I am, is by mapping. My friend JD was like, uh, I would just get lost. <laughs> well, before I ever became what I permanently do right now for a living, I used to work with uh, geographic information systems. I used to basically make maps digitally, programmed the the programs that make them and do all the cool stuff with them. Yeah, I kind of a jack of all trades. I've done a lot of things in my life. I was a geographic specialist, geographic information system specialist and programmer. I was a quality control specialist. And ichthyologist bio slash biologist. I actually was in nur the nursing program. I studied to be a nurse for a while. That was not for me. Back in the 80s, even though they needed male nurses, the program I was in, the one of the instructors obviously blatantly did not like the fact that men were getting into the program. She was seriously old-fashioned, and to her, women were nurses, men were not. And that was probably my first interaction with, you know, being treated, mistreated because of my sex, which usually doesn't happen to men, but that was, that was kind of a completely different situation. <laughs> but yeah, it happened. And it happened, I mean, I ended up leaving the program and going into biology and ichthyology, and the, guy, the, the other guy out of the 60 that were in the program, he quit altogether. I have no idea what he ended up doing. It's too bad. But now, men become nurses all the time. It was a different world. Alright, we're getting back to Mystery Lake. Back to home. So I kind of consider this home. I have a feeling, ooh, it's more cedar firewood, pick that up. Since this is where I started, this is where I built my first main base, and I kind of still want to keep, keep it there. It's just, feels like a good place to have a main home base. I might eventually move to the mountain town, I don't know. Mountain town's going to have structures that actually have uh, forges and you know maintenance uh, 
tool benches or whatever they call them and a place that you can cook your food and stay warm and all that good stuff but right now this is a good, as good as it's gotten and it's close to where I can fish it's close to wood, it's close to everything I need there are occasionally wolves but usually you can deal with them Yeah, I haven't even explored this whole area yet. What time is it, anyway? Still considered night. Ah, low visibility. That is so. That is so stupid. Why is it low visibility? I don't understand that. Whatever. I do hear wolves. Well, if I can actually hit it this time, I could actually use the pelt. I'm hoping that with bringing back what I've got, that I'm going to have enough to make the clothing that I want to make. Because I'm getting tired of getting too cold all the time. Well, we should be getting close to this. Yep, there's the cross wire. Ooh, and there's an elk. That would be nice because that's food. Here, let me crouch. Let me crouch because I can. If I could kill this dude close, and even if I miss an injury. I can go rest up and then tracking find his dead little body somewhere. All right, we're getting close. Good thing is, is knowing that he's there tells me that there's no wolves, because he'd be high tailing it out of there. There you go. Now that's the way it's done. <laughs> rifle firearm that my friends is the way it's done okay and it's right out here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave him there for right now I'm gonna go unload some of my crap and come back and harvest him and cook me up some venison <laughs> Might make some venomous and stew. Might have the ingredients to do that too. You never know. Ooh, it's dark. My, but it's dark. Okay, let's see here. There we go. We home. We home. We home now. That's cool. Kind of creepy to have a dead body in your house. It really is. It's just kind of kind of an odd thing. <laughs> I got plenty of wood. We're gonna drop some more down here. Let's see. We got these two. We can drop. Let's see. Do I have any other? I think I had some sticks too. Let's see. That's that's not what I was after. Oh yeah, I wanted to drop the... Yeah, I did have... Oh, it was a, a wolf hide and a deer hide. Okay, I didn't know that. They're completely cured. Perfect. Let's see. Let's drop some of this stuff here. Okay, that that's the cured one. We'll store that away somewhere. This is the fresh gut, so we need to drop that. That's... 61% cured, so it's almost there. 
I got that green maple sapling that I could make into a into something. It should be getting to be morning here shortly. I don't know why those don't just disappear after a while. I mean, what in the world are we going to do with them? Oh, and I did have a pot here. I didn't realize that. I could have left the pot there. And I have another storm lantern. So, got those there. Those are cured. Um, I obviously need to get. Okay, let's go ahead and. Okay, that one's almost full. And that one is almost full. Man, I've got all kinds of gobbledygook here. May have to start putting stuff on the floor. <laughs> There's no place to put anything. Let's see. Okay, let's see if we have any storage down here that we can use. Got these. All right, we'll put. See. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start unloading some stuff, and then I'll bring you back. Alright, I have unloaded stuff. I mean, I, I didn't really exactly put everything perfectly everywhere, but I am no longer burdened. And one of the things I want to do is I want to get a little bit of rest to where we can get to daylight, and then I'm going to go out there and harvest that deer. But before we do that, let's go ahead and put this thing out. We need all the fuel we can get. Let's sleep a little while. That'll save the game, give me some much needed rest. And it's daytime, yay! Daytime! Okay, let's put this. right next to the other one. Don't really need to carry it right now, so we are good. Yeah, my clothes are a little bit damaged, so I'm going to have to take care of that. Yeah, that encounter with the wolf did a number on my pants. But I need to go out here and find that deer that I killed. He's right over here. Because He's going to be all kinds of good stuff. and looks like we've got a storm coming anyway, so... Ooh! More feathers. Yeah, we can use those to make arrows. Alright, we are going to grab probably as much of the meat as we can get. We're going to cook it up. We're just gonna. Well, let's let's get about half of it, because we don't want to get it too cold. We'll get the hide and the gut, and might need to come out here and get the rest later. I don't want to get too cold. Okay, I'm all right. Yeah, and the storm's gotten worse, so. We'll come back out and get the rest of his meat. Because he'll freeze. He'll be good. It's like having our own refrigerator out here. Yeah, in real life, the wolves would eat him, but... What is that? Oh, it's just lights. Okay, never mind. Alright, I'm going to go up here. We're going to throw that gut down over here as well. Let's see. Cured. That's all the way cured. That's all the way cured. These are not cured, so we're going to put them next to the not cured ones. And let's 
see, here's the deer hide. Wait a minute, did I just put down... Oh, pfft. Didn't mean to put the... That's what I wanted to put down. I didn't want to put down that. Okay, hold on. That's geared. Let's see. The ones that are lighter is the one I want to drop. There it is. Okay. All right. Now we're good. Let's pick up the cured gut, cured deer hide, and the cured wolf hide. Now I've got all the cured ones. I'm going to see just how much I need to craft that, uh, that clothing. Let me see here. Okay, so we can make possibly I need one half deer cured deer hide and I can have some deer skin boots and one more of the deer to get the pants. What about a wolf skin coat? How much would that take? Three fourths. We have all the cured gut we need. We need one more cured wolf pelt and we've got us a coat. Yes. Awesome. Might not be a bad idea to get us some mittens too. Deerskin boots, deerskin pants, and a bearskin pelt. Love to have a bearskin coat, but that's gonna that's gonna take some effort. <laughs> Alright. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drop all the cured stuff here. That way we're not overburdened. How did I get burdened again? Oh, the meat. Duh. <laughs> okay. Well, what we got to do is we got to cook it. That's how you fix that problem. It'll still go bad, but not nearly so quickly. Oop. Okay, we are going to start the fire. We don't have an accelerant. Oh, yeah, we do. Cool. That'll just start. And we can place this. So let's see if we can't cook this. Let's see, is there anything else we can make? Let's see, venison pie. That would be nice. Do we need cooking oil? Where are we going to find? We're going to have to go to the mountain town. That's all there is. We have to go to the mountain town. There's ptarmigan pie, and peach pie, and pancakes, and acorn pancakes, and acorn bannock. All we can do is cook gamey venison. Yeah. Alright. So now we can cook them both at the same time. That's cool stuff. Should have plenty of food in here. We've got moldy wolf meat cooked, but it's still at 51%, which means we can still eat it. <laughs> Thank God. We got tomato soup. Oh, we got all kinds of food here. We're good. We are really good, honestly. All right, while well, that's cooking, I'm going to go out. Whoa. Let's check the weather. Eh, weather's not great. 
But I figured I could grab more of the meat. Let's see. Because that's got to cook for 45 minutes. I can get another two pounds of meat. As I keep doing that, I'll have him completely harvested and I'll have all kinds of food. And then I can just go down and start fishing. Alright, let's grab that venison. Cooked venison here. Grab the raw venison out of here. Yeah, if we do this right, we can get that com deer completely harvested. Yeah, I don't want the wolves eating off of it. I don't know that they can or can't, but I'm not taking that chance. I want to get as much of this meat as I can. Two hours more cooking time. to even start putting food down <laughs> somewhere else. Yeah, I might get rid of that wolf meat, honestly. The wolf meat, not as good as the venison. And it's at 53%, so I might actually get rid of that. Because it can give you some funky diseases if you eat it too much. So... We're going to put it over here. Yep, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's drop it, drop it, drop it. somewhere well let's get the rest of this deer before they do and once we do we'll have all his meat I wonder if he'll disappear after I do that no he's just an empty empty shell I guess All right, we have all kinds of meat. We have done very well for ourselves. I'm sure the meat is probably done up here. Yeah, it was about ready to burn, actually. <laughs> okay, we're going to cook that. that. Grab some more wood. 
add fuel. Oh yeah, I don't think we we might be able to get a little more in here now. So we have four more of those to cook, and we have all kinds. Look at all the venison we got cooked. Nice. That is going to make for good good stuff. Let's see the. Gut is 71% cured. The wolf pelt is 51% cured. We are going to have us a wolf coat, my friends, and we are going to have us some deer skin boots. And I'd rather have the boots than the pants. Because good boots, you can't beat good boots. I mean, boots, you want your feet to be warm. That's all there is to it. You just want your feet to be warm. Yeah, this is home, guys. Mystery Lake for right now. For how long, I can't tell you, but it is going to be home for at least a bit. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment. Oh, my goodness. Like and subscribe. Did you hear that? We have Tarmigan. Tarmigan. First you tarm, and then you tarm again. I wonder where he is. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Do I have an arrow? Yes, I do. There they are. Oh, I need water. <laughs> I just realized that I am thirsty as all get out, and that's probably not a good a good thing. Why can't I not? Do I have an arrow? Yeah. Oh, I have to stand, that's right. See, I don't like that. Stand still. Awesome. Yeah, the reason you want this is because there's all kinds of stuff. That you can cook from him. You need ptarmigan to make broth. And with broth you can make other things like rabbit stew. <laughs> rabbit stew. Anyway, guys, I was I got sidetracked there, but the fact that we have ptarmigan here, man, this place is just loaded with food sources. Yeah, that's why I want to live here. 